guys, what's up? We are at the Art Lab in a Box. Again, I am here in the studio. My name is Sam, and today we are gonna be making some cool emoji coasters. So go ahead, open your box, and let's see what we need inside. To make our emoji coasters, what we need is our three coasters. They have this brown paper on it that peels off. Okay, I'm gonna work on that later. You need these coasters. You need this white. It looks like glue. It's actually called something called Mod Podge and it's for glazing, covering things up. It's a little bit different from uh, regular glue because that just kind of peels off. This one should not peel off. Um, you also need three of your emoji stickers, this bag of glitter, or actually it's gemstones or like sparkly gemstone glitter kind of. It's really cool. Um, and then your markers. Okay, the only thing that you need outside of this stuff that's in your box is a paintbrush. So go find a paintbrush of some sort and let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get these brown protective layers off of our clear coaster. I'm actually finding this kind of difficult. So I wanted to give you guys a tip. Um, start at one of the edge edges and just start kind of like scraping it with my nails. I already messed up my nail polish, but that's what happens when you do art sometimes. You just start scratching it, scratching it, so it kind of does that. And then eventually you can grab an edge and then peel. Peel it all the way off. And then you're gonna wanna do the one on the other side I'm just gonna, once again, start scratching the edge until it can come up a bit. You don't wanna scratch in the middle because we don't wanna scratch our coasters, which is why the layer is on here in the first place. So this might take a bit of time, but what's the rush? There we go. All right, there is one. Beautiful. Okay, so go ahead, press pause, start to get the paper off of these. If you're having too much of a hard time, I'm sure one of your adults or older friends, siblings can help you, but just take your time and get these loose and then press play again when you're ready. Okay, now that all of my coasters are loose, I'm gonna move my Mod Podge and my glitter and my stickers out of the way and open up my markers. So the first step is gonna be really easy. All you have to do is color on one side of your coaster. So not on both sides, just on the top, all right? And you can color anything you want. You can do a design, you can do shapes, anything you feel like. Maybe I'll do a swirl on one. Oh. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't do a perfect picture because when we put the Mod Podge over it, it's gonna smear a little bit. It's gonna kind of um, create like a kind of watercolor look, but I'll show you that later. So it doesn't matter. Just kind of get some color on all of them. I'm just gonna add a bunch of color to all of mine. In no particular order. I'm just gonna enjoy coloring. And you can do pictures if you want. But just remember that they are going to smear later on. Maybe I'll do this one stripes. How are you gonna do yours? All right, if you get the idea already, go ahead and press pause, color the top of all of your coasters and press play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, I have added the colors to all three of mine. See, it kind of sits on the top because these are washable markers. Anyways, so the next thing we wanna do is we are gonna add a sticker to each one of our coasters. You can put it on the side, you can put it anywhere you want. I'm gonna pick the middle just because I think that's gonna look good. But like I said, do it wherever you want. So see, I'm not like, smearing it on to stick it down. I'm just using my finger because I don't want to smear the little bit of color that we have. 
on the coasters. Add this one. And then my last one. All right, go ahead, press pause, and add your stickers on. Okay, I'm gonna move these over a little bit to give me some more space. And now I'm gonna do a fun part because we get to mix stuff. So open up your Mod Podge here. Such a funny word. Open up your glitter like this, and slowly but carefully dump it in. Wow, this is really full. If you wanna put this in a separate bowl to have more stirring room, go ahead, but see what mine looks like. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to take that paintbrush, or you could use a stick if you don't wanna use your paintbrush. I'm gonna use my paintbrush since I'm gonna dip it in anyways. And I'm not gonna mix it really, really, really fast and make all the glitter fly everywhere. I'm just slowly going to mix these gemstones in because this Mod Podge is going to dry clear after. It's white now, but later on it will be clear when it dries. So you will be able to see all the gemstones. Mix it in slowly. Perfect. Go ahead, press pause and make your gemstone Mod, Pod, Mod Podge mixture. Oh my God, that word is funny. Okay, once you have it all mixed in, it should look kind of like melted ice cream. You can pick up one of your coasters like this, and you're just gonna paint right over top. And see, there you go, the color is mixing. See how the color is coming out a little bit. That's gonna add some cool color to our coaster. Just go all the way around all the way up to the edge. It's a decent thick layer. Don't mix it too many times over top because you don't want to mix the colors up You're crazy. But there you go, you can see some glitters on there. Add a little more. All right, we've got one done. I'm gonna put this down. This gets a little messy, guys. Do not panic. That's the funnest part. All right, here, let's do my muscle person here. I love the way the colors come out when you start to put the sticky stuff on. I'm gonna make it nice and thick. So I can get lots of gemstones on there. really nice from the coloring. All right, I got that one. Now my last one. You definitely will want to put down something on your table if you haven't already. I always just assume that if you're going to be doing the art lab in a box, you should put something down. My table is so messy and I just do it directly on my table. But my table is meant for crafts. Maybe that's not what your table is for. All right. So see, I'm doing it nice and thick, getting more. Until the whole top is covered. Perfect. So there we have that. Go ahead, press pause and cover all of yours in Mod Podge and then put the lid on your Mod Podge and save it for later because look how much we have to use for other things. Once you're all finished, uh, go ahead and wash your paintbrush, clean up your space, and now we just have to wait for them to dry. Put them in a cool place. Uh, you can use a hair dryer to speed up the drying if you'd like, or you can just leave them out and they're all gonna get nice and clear and look really great. 
here they are almost finished drying this one is fully dry so you can see how it's completely clear in this one it just needs a little bit more time but we can wait for that everything's drying clear all my glitter is nicely in place not coming off we have some really cool coasters now i'm ready to use them well i'll let them dry a little bit more i can put my coffee on them i can put plants on them anything i want all right so thank you so much for joining me guys i really hope you love your coasters as much as i do feel free to add another layer of mod podge glitter if you want and that's it bye <laughs>